On July 25, 2017, the Washington Kurdish Institute interviewed Lue Mikhail. Lue Mikhail holds the title Head of Foreign Relations Committee of the Chaldean Syriac Assyrian Popular Council, also known as Majlis Sha'abi, and represents Majlis Sha'abi in Washington, D.C. Lue Mikhail was asked for his opinion on the upcoming independence referendum for the Kurdistan region of Iraq. He answered, stating, We as Chaldean Syriac Assyrian Popular Council, Majlis Sha'abi, are supportive of this referendum. I will say 80% will join this referendum. And also, we are. The people who fled from the Nineveh Plain will be willing to geographically join the Kurdistan regional government and be part of Kurdistan. This is what most of the political parties, religious leaders, agreed on at the Brussels conference. Wahida Yaqo Hormiz is the head of Majlis Sha'abi's faction in the Kurdistan region's parliament. She publicly declared in an interview reported by Bass News on November 28, 2016, that Christians are seeking a self-ruling administration annexed to the Kurdistan region. Wahida Hormuz recently accompanied Kurdish leader Masoud Barzani to Brussels, asking the European Union to support the Kurdish independence referendum. Luhe Mikhail of Majlis Sha'abi referencing the June 2017 Brussels conference, confirms the role of organizers, sponsors, and participants of the Brussels conference in undermining Assyrian national aims. In Brussels, several political parties signed a joint statement supporting Peshmerga in re-establishing security control in the Nineveh Plain, compelling a referendum in the Nineveh Plain on joining the Kurdistan region and creating a governance structure giving the Kurdistan region more influence in the Nineveh Plain. Also, the Brussels conference destroyed the unity behind the March 6 joint statement signed by 10 political parties that sought to create a standalone Nineveh Plain province and would give Assyrians and others in the Nineveh Plain maximum autonomy over security, economic, and political affairs. By referencing the Brussels Conference, which was co-sponsored by a demand for action and the European Syriac Union, Louis Mikhail is making it absolutely clear that all involved in that conference were serving a Kurdish nationalist agenda. Mejlis Sha'abi was established in 2007. Sarkis Aghajian is publicly declared as the founder of Majlis Shabi. He was finance minister of the Kurdistan regional government and is a senior member of the Kurdistan Democratic Party. It was reported that his money paid for political and developmental initiatives for Assyrians. However, Sarkis Aghajian is not the real creator of Majlis Shabi. A report published by the Kurdistan regional government cabinet executive states while many Christians readily give credit to Sarkis Aghajian and speak as if it is his money, this is incorrect. When Mr. Aghajian was finance minister, all efforts were fully funded by the KRG under the instructions of Prime Minister Nicharvan Barzani. Sarkis Aghajian was only an instrument used by Nicharvan Barzani, according to the Kurdistan regional government. The Kurdistan Democratic Party is using the post-ISIS period to aggressively grab more Assyrian land and crush the Assyrian national cause in Iraq. Those Assyrians who follow Kurdish nationalist orders, like Majlis Sha'abi, are forced to become more open about their role in undermining and betraying the Assyrian national cause. However, what they are doing is not new and includes other Assyrian political entities. In January 2007, Fauzi Hariri was Iraq's Minister of Industry and another ranking Assyrian member of the Kurdistan Democratic Party. He and the Deputy Secretary General of the Assyrian Universal Alliance, Mr. Freydun Dermu, attacked a resolution being considered by a representative in the U.S. Congress on the Nineveh Plain. Eventually, the Assyrian Universal Alliance publicly declared they rejected key aspects of the resolution, but they were shifting emphasis from the real issue, which is facilitating the presence of a ranking Kurdistan Democratic Party member to demolish Assyrian nationalist efforts. Mr. Fauzi Hariri is listed as an executive board member of the Assyrian Universal Alliance under the name Fauzi Toma, representing north of Iraq 
at the Assyrian Universal Alliance's 23rd World Congress. The Assyrian Universal Alliance's coordination and cooperation with senior Kurdistan Democratic Party officials worked to attack key policies of the Assyrian national cause. Hedemus Shaheen, Carlo Genji, and Yonatan Bitkolia were all executive committee members, while Fauzi Hariri was an executive board member. The Assyrian Patriotic Party is another small piece in this machinery of Assyrian national betrayal. WikiLeaks documentation reveals that in March 2007, the Erbel representative of the Assyrian Patriotic Party, Emmanuel Khoshaba, met with U.S. Ambassador to Iraq, Zalme Khalilizad. In that meeting, he clearly states, the Assyrians demand that those areas of the Nineveh Plain that are predominantly Assyrian be linked to Kurdistan. Today, Emmanuel Khoshaba is the head of the Assyrian Patriotic Party and commands a tiny group of fighters operating under the command and control of the Peshmerga. Kurdistan Democratic Party leaders have been using Assyrians and Assyrian organizations to undermine the Assyrian national cause. Past Iraqi dictatorial regimes used Kurds and Kurdish organizations to undermine the Kurdish national cause. Taha Yesen Ramadan El Jizrawi was a Kurd, senior Ba'ath party member and vice president of Iraq from March 1991 until the fall of the Ba'ath regime in April 2003. Malla Mustafa Barzani's own son, Yubad Allah, joined the Ba'ath-sponsored National Progressive Front, which several prominent Kurdish politicians joined in the mid-1970s. These Kurds were elevated by the Ba'ath regime specifically to undermine the Kurdish national cause. Kurdish nationalists label these Kurds working against their nation, Jash and Josh. Jash literally translates into a small or young donkey. But in Kurdish nationalist political terminology, it means those Kurds who work with the enemy to undermine Kurdish forces. The Barzani family, as victims of the Josh, have become masters of creating and using Assyrians to undermine the Assyrian national cause. The Iraqi regime put Kurds in dominant positions to crush Kurdish nationalists. The Ba'athists created and sponsored Kurdish-led parties and organizations to attack Kurdish nationalist efforts. The Kurdistan Democratic Party used Assyrians like Serkis Aghajian and Fauzi Hariri in the same fashion. The Kurdistan Democratic Party drives key choices and key policies of groups like Mejlis Shabi, the Assyrian Patriotic Party, and Assyrian Universal Alliance. The Kurdish Democratic Party recently forced the removal of the mayor of al Qush and dictatorially imposed an Assyrian who is a member of the Kurdistan Democratic Party. WikiLeaks documents confirm that Serkis Aghajian privately confessed to the nature of political interference by the Kurdistan Democratic Party to U.S. officials. In late 2006, Aghajian told U.S. Ambassador Zalmay Khalilizad that so-called Christian parties were formed and influenced by the KDP. This confession by Aghajan himself confirms the Kurdistan Democratic Party tactic of employing Assyrians against Assyrians and confirms Aghajan's own role in the creation of Mejlis Shaabi by Kurdish nationalists. Kurdish nationalists referred to Kurds who betray the Kurdish national cause as Josh, little donkeys. But domestic farm animals, such as donkeys, do not choose their masters and do not choose slavery. This makes the term inappropriate. Those Assyrians serving Kurdish nationalist masters made a choice. The Assyrians who made that choice are Sepiane. The Sepiane are a corrupt, soiled, ruined, and broken group in the Assyrian political fabric. Sepiane Assyrians corrupt, soil, ruin, and destroy those efforts driven by free Assyrians. Lue Mikhail's recent statements as a Mejlis Shaabi official and his use of the Brussels conference as a policy basis for the Nineveh plain give free Assyrians a chance to identify Sepian Assyrians and their Sepian Assyrian organizations. This list of the Sepian includes people such as Sepiana Sarkis Aghajian, Kurdistan Democratic Party, Sepianta Wahida Hormuz, 
Mejlis Shaabi, and Kurdistan Democratic Party. Sepiana, Luay Mikhail, Mejlis Shaabi, Sepiana, Fauzi Hariri, Kurdistan Democratic Party, and Assyrian Universal Alliance.